Guaranteed to delight all space buffs, CG Publishing's latest release takes a retrospective account of a team of men who grew to become one of the most influential technological forces in this or any other century. Can you tell us who were the rocket team? Uh, the rocket team, there was uh, 118 German scientists who were uh, captured at the end of World War II and brought to the United States to help the U.S. build up its rocket arsenal and to be able to compete in the Cold War against the Russians. So uh, the team was led by Werner von Braun, uh, who is a name that most people perhaps are rec uh, would recognize. And uh, of course, von, Dr. von Braun ended up uh, being the main man behind the Saturn V rocket, which took us to the moon. The book has been published before. Uh, this has been out of print, though, for nearly 25 years. And uh, the author, uh, Fred Ordway, um, was kind enough to provide us with some of this amazing video footage that has been sitting in the vaults down in Huntsville, Alabama, for the last 25 years. And so the disc that comes with the book this time includes absolutely amazing rare footage of early rocketry experiments from the 1920s all the way through to the 1960s and 70s. And then we also have uh, two different lectures by Dr. Von Braun, which are very rare, one from 1955, where he first explains his plans for a manned uh, mission to the moon to uh, an audience of American military officers and um, a 1965 demonstration of the Saturn V rocket that he has this wonderful model and he explains it all. But when the war ended, the German scientists, for the bulk of them, voted to move west and surrender to the Allied armies um, in Bavaria. Some of them voted to go east and join the, the Russian rocket team. Um, had it not been for the fact that Dr. von Braun and his, his crew surrendered to the west, I think that the space race would have been an entirely different uh, game. I think the, R the Russians proved that they were able to beat the United States with Sputnik and putting a man in space with Yuri Gagarin. So when these guys came west, they brought all of this technology with them and all of their ideas. And certainly they had built on some of Robert Goddard's ideas, who was the American uh, rocket pioneer. Um, but uh, it would have been a different, different world entirely if these guys had not surrendered to the west.